Hey folks, Jeff Hirsch here with another quick Lightroom tip video. So Lightroom 12.1 was released this morning and there are just a couple of changes I wanted to point out to you. They're mostly cosmetic and not so functional, but they might throw you off a little bit if you weren't expecting them. So what they've done is in the masking panel, they've now divided all of the different sections up so you've got a tone section, a color section, a presence section, and a detail section. These used to all be stacked together in a single grouping and you couldn't hide any of them. Now you can actually collapse any of the individual sections. And you can also temporarily hide their visibility. So I've made a quick mask here of the background and let's say I just bring the exposure on the background down a little bit. You can hide that by clicking the little eyeball here and it'll temporarily disable just that adjustment. Allow Allowing you to see the other ones. So that's the one major change that they've made. The other thing that they've done is they've gotten rid of the done button across the entire develop module. They had already taken it away from the localized adjustments and so you had to click the little masking tool or one of the other tools to put that one away. But the done button had lingered on in a few other locations like white balance and defringing. Well, they've removed that entirely now. And in all cases, you'll use this edit button to return back to the edit mode. The other new things that they added in Lightroom Classic 12.1 is support for some newly released cameras, most notably the Sony a7R5. And they have brought back Canon tethering for people running M1 based iMacs. They've finally released the update that supports native Canon tethering on those computers. So those are the new updates that came out in Lightroom Classic 12.1. You'll also see them reflected in the new version of Camera Raw and the new version of Photoshop. Thanks and I'll see you soon.